all right, moving to this facility has been three years in the making. Uh, we, by mid-2012, realized that we were outgrowing our previous space on Molo Alo Street um, as our enrollment has grown steadily over the past eight years of the school. Um, of course, since charters get no facilities funding, we also had a very limited or finite budget to work with. Um, it was an awesome, awesome process to get here. Admittedly, I actually teared up when the moving vans came to the old place two Fridays ago to move us up here, just knowing the opportunities we would have at this site. It's really great. I like the new layout of it. It's a lot bigger and it's certainly a good upgrade. I really like the fact that they have the windows and all the natural lighting that it's letting in and I also like that they have two science labs which is just really nice. I love the science labs because last year we had to stay in our small classroom and just do whatever we could with what we had which was very little. This is way better than how it used to be. Actually it's, it's really what I was hoping it would be from the beginning honestly but yeah this is beautiful it's just awesome. So far, it's absolutely beautiful. It, everything is, seems brand spanking new. We have a lot more light from the windows that the end, and every and just the facility alone, you can really tell that they've put a lot of thought into uh, a good education for the kids, real conducive to learning. As the program has grown, we've had more and more of a need for science classrooms with labs and eye washes, for art rooms where we can really you know, delve into ceramics or sculpture or multi-level drawings and projects. We also want to ensure that any time that they're here, they can really be hands-on learning, working in small groups with partners, doing various protocols or projects and creating artifacts of their learning. They shouldn't be stagnantly sitting when they're here. Um, we have almost the ultimate flipped classroom model whereby when they're at home, they can be gaining the base knowledge they need to then put it into action when we're here. So when we designed this site, we wanted to make sure that all of the classrooms were convertible to really be able to enrich the student experience. And then as a blended learning school too, we have one day kindergartners in a classroom and the next day 18 year old seniors and the next day seventh graders after that so we also need a space that can accommodate you know a small five-year-old to a, a larger 18 year old in in the span of a couple of hours or on a day-to-day -day basis so this new space will enable us to do that So blended learning at HTA is three things it's face-to-face -face instruction so students are going to come in two times a week at least to meet face to face with teachers. There's a virtual component, which might be synchronous virtual, which means students are actually meeting in an online classroom where they can see their teacher and they can see their classroom or classmates at a set time on a set schedule. Um, that virtual might also be just meeting one-on-one -on -one face to face with a teacher through the computer virtually. It might be meeting in a small group. Um, and then the third component is independent, which is a student working independently on the curriculum from home on that other two-ish days a week. Um, it might be if they're getting a little bit older in middle school and high school, being out in the community in an internship or on a community service project um, and directing their own learning. So those are our, our three components of blended learning. And, and what a great situation is to have a blended learning situation so that we aren't just doing online, that we do get to have some face-to-face -face time too. I think that's really helpful for socializing as well and the HTA uh, team does a great job with planning um, the field trips and they just are really thoughtful with how they how they plan out an education for, for the students. And we thought it would be a really good idea because I'm an independent learner and I'm good at learning things myself. Plus it's good because then I have extra time in the day to do other activities rather than just spending eight hours a day at school rather than just one day a week here. Because the parent and the family are part of the learning process and you become a team between student and parent learning coach and teacher. We, we use a tricycle analogy of the student is the big wheel in the front and the teacher and the parent are the small wheels in the back. and all three have to be moving or else the tricycle is just going to go in circles. So our teachers know when they come on board that they are there to work with the parents equal part with the student and I think that can really help to build student confidence, help students feel comfortable 
and then also support those students too who come through the door and they are ready and they're alive and they're vibrant and maybe they felt as though they couldn't gain as much from their previous school experience as they are able to have here. And it's been it's been a really great experience. We we wanted something that was a little different. Um, we wanted something that we didn't want to have to build our own curriculum in a homeschool um, scenario and we also thought it'd be really neat to do something more technology related because of it's the time. Um, I like how we um, get to do science projects and um, I also like how um, we get to do online learning, we get to do codes on the computers too. I like the projects that we were able to work with other uh, classmates so that we can uh, have experience working with others. Yeah, actually that's an awesome point. Um, at homeschool, it, sometimes you only have your brothers and sisters to work with, but yeah. here you can actually come to school and, and learn how to work with other kids too, which you would get in public school every day, but you also get to be at home with the parents too, which is awesome also. Um, but it's nice to, if we have the opportunity to be able to have one parent home or even a learning coach that we can hire to teach them, then um, we get to have them around more and we get to teach them the values that, that matter a lot in the future. Uh, I think we also just have an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal faculty here. Um, I have never worked with such a collectively gifted group of teachers and we have a teaching faculty of just over 60 this year across the state and the same way students choose and parents choose HTA as a public option for their students our teachers are also choosing to come to us, which means they believe in the model. I enjoy it a lot. The teachers seem to actually care about what they're teaching rather than just seeing it as a job, which is really nice. As I am just so pleased and so glad that we have found HTA for my daughter.